Good morning everyone and happy Sabbath to you and your family. I pray that you are all doing well and I pray that the Lord will continue to bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you. Our reading today comes to us from Exodus 20, reading from verses 3 to 17. And it reads, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Verse 4 says, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image of any likeness of anything that is in the heavens above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Verse 5 Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for I the Lord thy God am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me right and verse 6 says and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandment verse 7 it says thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that take it his name in vain verse 8 remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy ah, beautiful beautiful <laughs> it says six days shall thou labor and do all thy work Mm -hmm. <laughs> verse 10 says but the seventh day is the sabbath of the lord thy god in it thou shalt not do any work thou nor thy son nor thy daughter thy manservant nor thy maid servant nor thy cattle nor thy strangers that is within thy gates verse 11 for in six days the lord made the heaven and the earth the sea and all that is in them and rested on the seventh day wherefore the lord blessed the sabbath day and all of it honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Verse 13 Thou shalt not kill. Verse 14 says Thou shalt not commit adultery. <laughs> and verse 15 says Thou shalt not steal. And 16 says, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. 17 and last, Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, Nor is man servant, Nor is maid servant, Nor is ox, Nor is ass, Nor anything that is thy neighbors and i say amen to god be the glory great things he has done now it is such a blessing when we think about god's creation when we think about his goodness and his mercies towards us and as we listen to the reading this morning you know we are encouraged that we must be faithful to God 
that we should not have any other gods before him. And we all know that anything that we put in the place of God becomes our idols. And God is saying, I am a jealous God. I do not wish to share you with anyone or anything else. Right? And so, we are to give God our full allegiance. He also tells us that we are to remember the Sabbath day, to keep it holy. I know there is a lot of controversy about the Sabbath, and a lot of folks believe that the Sabbath is somehow done away with, and it's not to be kept, or you can keep any day that you wish to call the Sabbath. But as we know in the scripture, it tells us which day is the Sabbath. And so because of our love for God, we must be obedient. Obedience is the key here. It's not about what we want. It's about what God desires. It also goes on to tell us that the Sabbath is much more than just another day. It is a day that God has set aside for us to rest spiritually and physically from our labors during the course of the week. And so the Sabbath is a blessing. And so let us, even as we go to his sanctuary today, those of us who will be going into the the temple today, let us experience the blessing of the Sabbath. It tells us that we are to honor our parents. We are to be respectful to our parents, right? We are to abstain from adultery and fornication too, right? And we are not supposed to commit any murder. We are not supposed to steal. We are not supposed to tell lies. And the list goes on. All of this are there to help us to develop the right character for heaven. And so as we think about these readings and as we consider what the Lord is trying to communicate to us, as He, by His Holy Spirit, help us to grow spiritually, emotionally, and so on. Let us not let all His effort be in vain. But let us understand that God loves us and that He desires to save us. And may we experience the fullness of His love as we continue to walk in his light. Amen. Enjoy the rest of your day and may the Lord continue to show you favor and continue to keep you in all his way. God bless you.